just a sec. I'm looking for us an outfit. So I'm not naked. Oh, this'll do. Okay. This is gonna work. Oh, dude, what's with the get-up? Are you here to unleash some experimental food on the world, or what? Hello, I'm Gordon Ramsay, and I'm here to create the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich, and I've chosen you to be on my podcast. Wait, Gordon Ramsay, the dude of all the cooking shows? I mean, I guess I could be into talking about grilled cheese. It's like the only thing that brings me joy these days. What's your podcast about anyways? I take strangers by surprise and make them a sandwich. And then they tell me how good it is, and if it's amazing, I call them an idiot sandwich. Well, that sounds intense. I'm not sure if I'm ready to bear the weight of being called an idiot sandwich, but hey, why not? It might just be an experience. Just promise me you won't go too hard on me, okay? Don't worry, I'm about to prepare you a delicious banquet of grilled cheeses made with kimchi and the most beautiful cheeses you've ever seen. Fragrant, aromatic. <laughs> oh, my dark twisted soul, that sounds absolutely amazing. Kimchi and beautiful cheeses? Count me in, dude. I can't resist the call of a fragrant and aromatic grilled cheese. Yes, it worked! <laughs> Alright, so Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese is good for something. I finally get to meet my Dark Lord. Yeah, it worked. You can't... You just can't... Avoid the siren of the grilled cheese. Mm. Well, 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 if it isn't my gloomy neighbor Fallout Royal, what brings you to my door at this ungodly hour? Did you run a black clothes to pay off your eternal sadness? Hello. I am here to sing Christmas carols. Would you like to hear one? Christmas carols, huh? Well, I guess it's about time. You brighten up that gloomy demeanor of yours. Go ahead, sing me a carol, but make it snappy. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me ten black hearts. Ten black hearts, huh? You really know how to keep the holiday spirit alive, don't you? Maybe next time try to sing about something that doesn't match your outfit, like Jingle Bells or Deck the Halls. Okay, how about this one? Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Ah, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Classic. I have to say, a shiny red nose would really add pizzazz to your gloomy look. What? Hey, at least you'd be easier to spot in the dark. So would I look less gloomy if I dressed up as a reindeer? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Imagine you, Fallout Roy, prancing around with your antlers on your head, spreading your holiday smile. You might just bring a smile to everyone's face. Who knows? You might even become the romantic... Wait, become the neighborhood's favorite reindeer. Give it a try. It just so happens that I have a reindeer outfit in my bag. Do you want me to put it on for you? Well, 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 Fallout Roy, you surprised me again. If you're willing to put on the reindeer outfit and bring some much needed holiday cheer, then step right in. Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, so the Christmas angle worked, I guess. <laughs> Who was this? I don't remember where they live, that's the problem. Uh, excuse me, who are you? What's the purpose of this disturbance? I demand an explanation. Oh, this ruins my delicate routine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very delicate too. I've had problems with neighbors being annoying at this time of night, and I have a way to stop them. Would you like to hear it? Oh, really? Well, I suppose if it's a solution to stop bothersome neighbors, I could hear you out. Please make it quick. Well, I have this pillow where a unicorn farted into it. Trust me, it works, as ridiculous as it sounds. A unicorn farted into a pillow? That sounds positively enchanting. Hmm, maybe it could bring some whimsical peace to my delicate ears. All right, you've had piqued my interest. Show me this magical pillow of yours. Oh, it's- it's a great pillow. They actually farm them fresh daily. It takes 30 unicorns to make one pillow. Oh, my delicate soul rejoices at the thought of such a magnificent creation. Please come in and share this fantastic pillow with me. <laughs> Unicorn fart pillow. You heard it here first. This is a guy that bought Game of Girl bath water, most likely. Definitely has that energy. I mean, if he fell for unicorn fart pillar, I guess gamer girl bath water isn't too much of a stretch from that, huh? <laughs> well, well, what we have we here? A late night cosplay enthusiast. What brings you to my humble abode, dear stranger? I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. Oh, wow. How inspiring. Let's get back to reality, shall we? What can I do for you, my fellow dreamer? I've been having problems sleeping. I need help. I saw this creature to the window, to the wall, and its sweat dripped off my... Hmm. Hold on just a minute. I'm sorry! I don't think I can help you with that particular problem. Best of luck finding someone more qualified. Goodbye now.
Okay, so she listens to Little John and the East Side Boys. So otherwise, that lyric would not have gotten her. She knew the words that were coming. <laughs> hey there, bud. What brings you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Hello, I am the magical fairy from the forest. I am here to grant you an ability that will let you cut down trees without getting tied. Are you interested? Mm. Well, blow me down, a magical fairy, eh? That's something you don't see every day in these parts. I must admit, the idea of cutting down trees without getting tired does sound mighty tempting. How does exactly does this magical ability work? Well, I have to follow you around for 30 days to get the process started, and I'll be pointing out every little detail going, HOW? And then eventually you'll get the power. Hold on there, bud. Follow me around for 30 days, pointing out every little detail. That sounds like a whole lot of bother. Eh, I reckon I'll stick to my trusty axe and... <laughs> right. They don't want Na'vi. It's okay, I'd, I'd decline the offer too. What now? Can't you see I'm busy? What do you want? Hello, ma'am. Special delivery message for you. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. Deliver it to my house. Look, I don't have time for your cheesy jokes. Just leave the message and go away. She's not a fan. Oh my god, you're totally the cutest butterfly ever. Are you here to spread some trendy buzz? Or am I just feverish? Either way. Welcome to my humble abode. Flutter in. Hashtag spread your wings and be free. Okay. Hello, I am here to invite you to the trendiest party of the year. It's the ultimate butterfly party. Hashtag big party. I don't know how to speak like this. Oh. Oh, like... Invite only parties are so exclusive and cool. You have such a keen eye for trends. It's like you were born to plan a party. Share all your deets with me. I'm ready to fly and dance the night away. Do you have your own set of wings? They're a requirement. Of course I do. I live for fashion expression. So I have a collection of wings for every occasion. I'll even let you borrow a pair of my extra stylish wings in case you need it. Oh, you will? Oh, great. I actually do need a pair of stylish wings. Do you mind helping me put them on? I'm a little clumsy, you see. Absolutely. I'll be your wing woman and help you rock those wings like a pro. Fashion emergencies are my specialty. So don't worry about a thing. Let's get you dolled up and ready to slay on the dance floor. Fashion rescue squad. I hate that I'm going to say this. Yas, queen, slay. Yas, queen, slay. Let's do this, yas. <laughs> yes, let's work it, hon. Come on in and let's get you all prepared for the ultimate butterfly party. We're gonna slay the night away. Okay, we win. Sucker. Not the kind of bite I tweeted about. I'm good at this game? I don't know. They failed a couple. Oh, crap. They saw that. Look, buddy, I don't have time for your half-naked firefighter slash stripper routine right now. What the hell do you want? I've heard that there was a fire at this place. I'm here to put out the fire, ma'am. Just doing my job. We had another hero to save the day. Tell you what, just drop off your gear at the front desk and let the professionals handle it, thanks. What the fuck is this woman's problem? I know you're perfectly capable of putting out a fire, ma'am, but I wouldn't want that pretty face of yours getting singed. Please, let me in. It's an emergency. Well, aren't you just a smooth talker? But sorry, saving my pretty face isn't enough to convince me. Come back when you have something more substantial to offer, like a coffee. Oh! I had a coffee to give the moment I put the fire out. Sorry if I didn't make that apparent. But yeah, I have some coffee. Wait, did you say coffee? Okay, you've got my attention now. Bring in the coffee and let's talk about fire safety over a cup. How the fuck? How? Cow? How did I run? <laughs> okay. It's all right. I turned it around. I, I win. <laughs> okay. Nine out of 31. How come so... I don't know how on earth I managed to salvage that one. I was a naked firefighter and she was... I was going to go with the angle that I was a stripper and, you know, the fire, quote, fire was in my pants. But it ultimately went to coffee. So, okay. <laughs> what now? What do you want, Jessica Overwork? Can't you see I'm trying to wallow my own existential despair here? Despair no more, friend. I've heard some sweet gossip that someone likes you. Wait, what? Someone actually likes me? Are you sure it's not just a cruel prank to further my misery? Oh, what's the real deal? I heard that they are a firefighter. Pretty rugged at that. A firefighter? Well, that's unexpected. Maybe life isn't so pointless after all if someone rugged 
likes this angsty mess of a person. Do they have a cool motorcycle too? Oh, absolutely. They're on their way here now, in fact. Are you ready to meet them? Do you want me to help you get ready to meet them? Wait, they're really coming here? I guess. I guess I can meet them. And uh, sure, help me get ready. I don't want to scare them away with my eternal darkness or anything. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, I, I feel bad about that one. This is, like, so uncool. That was, uh, I was playing on there. I didn't think it was gonna work, but it did. Who's this? Charles A. Boomer. What the heck are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Can't you see I'm about to hit the sack, get lost? Charles, please, I need your help. I keep spending all of my life savings on avocado and toast and feta cheese. Can you help me manage my money? Are you kidding me? You need help managing your money because of fancy avocado toast? Back in my day, we knew how to save and live within our means. Go find someone else. Wow, you... Yep, this game's very accurate. No, you know what? That conversation went exactly how it should have. The fuck you, I got mine attitude. Hold on. Shit. Shit, 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 shit! I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Well, well, what do we have here? A lovely day to be parading half-naked around in the neighborhood. Officer, officer, Uh-oh. <laughs> I got arrested. <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. Oh, god damn it. Now I'm gonna have to do this again. Ugh.